to 3764. Elvis Presley Boulevard. Hit it, Elvis. You got to eat. Elvis back on tour, coming to you from Springfield, Missouri. We are on Missouri State University's campus, and we are at the Hammond Student Center, where Elvis performed the opening night of his final tour, June 17, 1977, in this building before 9,000 people. The Hammond Student Center opened in 1976, and it has a capacity of 8,846. Here's a photo taken at the gates of Graceland on the evening of June 17, 1977. The photo was taken by Myra Knott, who wrote a book called Elvis Now, Ours Forever. In the book, she recalls she arrived at Graceland at 3 p.m. in the hopes of getting a picture of Elvis leaving to go on tour. She was told Elvis would leave at 5 p.m. for Springfield, Missouri, but Elvis didn't appear until 8 p.m. and was scheduled to be on stage at 9.30 p.m. Not much has changed over 40 years, although some exterior aspects have changed, including the area where the garage door is now connected to the neighboring JQH Arena, the area that Elvis's car would have driven through is relatively the same. This room would have been used as Elvis's dressing room before his performance. One thing that stood out to us was the long path Elvis had to take to get to the stage. <laughs>
Elvis customarily stayed at a Hilton or a Sheraton, but in Springfield they were booked in at the Howard Johnson's. During our visit, we found the hotel and could not gain access because it's now a training center for tractor-trailer drivers and the grounds are gated. While in Springfield, we stopped by the History Museum on the Square, a museum of local history. Inside was a display dedicated to John Wilkinson, Elvis's rhythm guitar player, originally from Springfield. The items in the display included photos, a small statue, a guitar owned by John, a stage one outfit, and the TCB necklace Elvis gave to John. All the items were donated by his widow after John's passing. If you get a chance to see this display, you will get the opportunity to listen to an audio biography of John and his journey with music and Elvis. We thought that this display was wonderfully put together and we were glad we got to see it. Also, while we were in Springfield, we stopped by the Shrine Mosque, which during the 1950s was a 4,000-seat arena that saw Elvis on May 17, 1956. This is also where 10-year-old John Wilkinson snuck backstage and gave Elvis a guitar lesson, not knowing that he would get to share the stage with him for nine years. Today it is still owned by Shriners, and during our visit we were only able to photograph the outside since there were events going on. We want to thank the entire staff at the Hammond Center at Missouri State University. We appreciate your time and patience during our visit.